John, you're captaining the Barbarians against Fiji on Saturday. Is this a nice personal honour to cap off what's been a great year for the box? Yeah, it's, it's a great honour. Uh, I think what makes the Barbarians team so special is that it, you can only play for them by invite. Um, and to be asked to captain the team is just uh, the cherry on top. So it's a, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great team, great bunch of guys involved, and I'm looking forward to the game. This is many legends who's never ever been, uh, been uh, part of a, a Barbarian side. And in 2009 we did beat the All Blacks and we enjoyed that very much. Seeing a few games a few years ago and you know, definitely wanted to um, be a part of it. I think it was a game in New Zealand um, when some of the boys were involved in you know, just being I guess jealous in a sense, you know, I was like, okay, how do I get involved with this team? And now I'm finally here, you know, it's, it's pretty special to be here. It's a seriously strong squad. Is there onus as much on getting a win and getting a result and the performance as it is entertaining the Twickenham crowd? Yeah, uh, I think it's both of that, um, or both of those. Uh, you know, I think we we definitely, you know, know the responsibility that, uh, that we still have to go out and, and perform. We still... I think first of all need to get a good result and, and secondly, like you said, entertain the, the Twickenham crowd. Uh, the, a lot of tickets have been sold already and uh, you know they want to see entertaining rugby so hopefully we can deliver, deliver on that. The way, the way Fiji play it should be fast paced and open at the weekend, is that something that makes you even more excited especially with the likes of Frank Halley and Charles Piertau to run out alongside you? Exactly how I like to play. <laughs> You might see me on, along these tram lines as well sometimes, but um, definitely looking forward to the game. You know, Fiji open, open playing style of game, and um, you know, if, that, if that, if that, what it comes down to, then so be it. Yeah. But if you look at Fiji and you actually see uh, the, the athleticism, everybody of uh, in the team, I think they all about the same height uh, except the uh, front row and the uh, and the scrum off normally otherwise they're all the same size and they're amazing athletes Did you get to see the other side of people so having played against them and then sort of being alongside them too that's exactly it um guys like uh, i guess there's much people see you know, huge presence on field you know kind of scary to play against off the field you know one of the greatest guys where one of the greatest guys i met um ridiculously funny and um, uh, definitely enjoying his company. With with the professional era, I think uh, it's uh, really losing the the personal touch, and uh, that's why uh, whenever I get the opportunity to play for Barbarians, I never say no. Uh, is to meet people outside of rugby, uh, and you actually enjoy a great week with them and have a have a have a game with them on the weekend. You know, it's a it's a good experience. Again, that that's what the um, the platform that the Barbarians team gives you, uh, in that you you get to know the guys on a different level you get to share uh, you know rugby philosophies as well and I think the more we can do that and the more we can try and better the game and, and better the product that we put out there you know the better it is for for everyone involved so uh, you know like I said hopefully, hopefully I can take a lot out of this and hopefully I can I can uh, uh, help one or two other guys as well.